Welcome back. Another stage zero video for the Volvo 850. Before we go into tuning, I would like to cover probably, as you have seen, understood by now, hopefully, that we are covering general maintenance to your Volvo 850, V70, and similar Volvo 5 cylinders before tuning, so you know that you have at least uh, a factory equivalent engine and that the parts are in good working order so you won't have any misfires and broken engines and so on. So, topic for today is ignition leads. Uh, this is an aftermarket one so it doesn't look... it's not the typical black that you would have in your car and from the factory. But, this will actually break over time, they will cause wear and Quite many cars actually I've seen running around having issues with uh, misfiring on full boost and or a jerky throttle when especially on boost. Uh, then the ignition leads are usually the last thing people change. People are good at changing spark plugs, distributors and distributor caps, but the ignition leads are an overlooked part here. When I got my 850R, uh, the leads actually were broken. But I did not find out this out until I uh, chipped to my car and I start, started having colossal misfires and check, air, check engine signs and uh, a lot of things. And I changed uh, as pre all the previously mentioned part except the ignition leads. And then I called the called place and they said just change your leads and it will be fine. And that was the truth. So, when I changed my leads, I like to measure them when I change my spark, spark plugs I like to measure them as well. So here you can see I have uh, my multimeter set to ohm range here I have come on half a kilo ohm 500 ohms a good set of leads will be in the say 1 to 5 kilo ohm range they can be lower if they, they are especially short. The length is directly proportional to the resistance you'll get. This is the lead from the ignition coil to the distributor cap. And I can see that this isn't work because here we have half a kilo ohm. And also what I like to do is I hold the leads in place. They are quite tricky, especially on the engine, on the ones that are going to the spark plugs. But I hold it in place and then I move the lead around to see if there is any break in contact. When I measured my leads that I took off my car, I had 80 kilo ohms, 80, 80 kilo ohms on one of the cables. And this means that the resistance is so high that there will be a very, very little spark going through the spark plug. And when you have a very weak spark, then the wind from the rushing air and fuel will actually might even stop stop the flame and that will cause you to, to your engine to misfire. So now I can see this is a very good this is still in good order this lead. Uh, another lead that was problematic on my car was actually I could not find any resistance whatsoever. It basically said this one or overload meaning that this lead was actually broken in, inside but it still worked without a, a chip, without anything, because the 10,000 volts kind of going through these cables is so high that the, the spark will jump a gap, like it does on the spark plug, spark plug, but it had to jump one gap in the lead and then also on the spark plug, so the, the spark was so weak that the engine did not fire and had a misfire, on, on particularly on full boost. So, <clears throat> if you want to know on average what uh, in what shape your cables are in, you take uh, you take your value, you write it down, and then you measure the the part. Here I have this cable is 43 centimeters, roughly. Let's say 42 because hitchhiker thinks. So, 42 centimeters, I have uh, 500 or 470 kilo ohms on 42 centimeters. This means that I should have roughly, per 10 centimeters of cable, I have, should have 0 .0 0 0.1 kilo ohms. Quite simple. So then when I take my longer cables, I measure them 
uh, if the one I think the longest one is around two three feet or close to close to 60 70 80 centimeters so I should be expecting on that one to see around one kilovolt now these are aftermarket uh, performance cables so these have two wires in them so that's why the resistance is low on the factory new Volvo ones you will expect to find three three to five kilo ohms in any one of them but as long as they are all in the ballpark and they don't have any brakes in contact then you're you should be fine the, the these should not be causing your misfire then uh, as I mentioned in a previous uh, video if uh, you remove your you remove your cover on engine cover then water might drain through here into the spark uh, spark plug holes and they will then cause the spark to arc from these cables directly into the block and this might also be an issue so it's a good thing to check that all of these connectors seem intact there are no uh, burnt areas where the spark might be jumping into the block or into ground of the car so ignition wires you can test them you can measure them and you can actually determine if they are good as long as they are all in the similar range they are okay if you find something over 10 kilo ohms I would really say it's time to buy new ones or unless all of your cables seem to be in the same range then it might be that these are some sort of uh, resistor cables they, they are, there exist cables with a, with a specific internal resistance as well and I'm not too familiar with how they work but these ones are low resistance cables with two, two wires inside and the factory ones have one wire inside and they have uh, roughly double the resistance of these ones so Thank you. If you feel feel the need to see more of these videos, you can subscribe, yada yada, and so on. I will try to make more at some point in time. Thank you.